What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As always, it is appreciated. So I'm sure you can tell by today's video, but we are doing some custom headlights. But today we are doing some uh, work to a G37 coupe. Uh, this gentleman wants some halos, some demonized, and some LED strips. So uh, that's what we're going to go ahead and do for him today. We're going to go uh, pick up the headlights, me and Jonathan. Um, so we're going to head now, go get the headlights from him, and then uh, we can go ahead and actually start working on them. Okay, so it's been a couple hours, but we are back uh, with the headlights and the fog lights. So basically what we're going to be doing today on these G37 headlights is adding halos to each one of these, as well as some LED strips. And then kind of like what we did on my Q50, we're gonna be putting some uh, halos in the fog light housing as well. Also, we are blacking out the housing. So all in all, should be a relatively simple job. Uh, this is the first time we're doing G37 headlights, but we've done the 350Z, we've done the Q50, uh, we did my buddy's Lexus a while back. So it shouldn't be too difficult given the ones that we've already done, and these are basically like the Z and the Q headlights anyways. Uh, so right now the oven is preheating to 275 uh, degrees, so we can go ahead and put these in, bake them, and start actually taking them apart. As always, before putting the headlights in the oven to bake, make sure you take off the screws and uh, uh, take off any like electrical balances or anything like that as you don't want those to burn and ruin the headlights. <laughs> I'm using an oven here. <laughs> Look at that perfect technique. No shit, it's hard as fuck. <laughs> So even though you use the oven, it's always best just to pop out the uh, heat gun as well while separating these, just to make sure that uh, it separates properly and that way you don't crack the lenses. So little by little it's getting separated more. It's always best to do this with two people if possible, just that way one person can heat with the heat gun where needed and the second person can uh, go ahead and separate. As you can tell, we are professionals with our professional equipment and gloves. And success with the first light, uh, housing has been separated. So we're gonna start working on this one as well, um, on getting this one taken off. And then uh, once all this is separated, we are probably gonna stop for the night and then finish tomorrow, but we'll see. Governor and governor right here. Okay, go. That paper towel is not gonna protect I'm you from fucking doing it. Okay, it's fine. my skin's not touching it. So, table looks like a hot mess right now, but both headlights are separated. It has been a little bit since I picked up the camera. Mainly we've been dealing with this screw right here. Um, was a pain. The reason we have to take it out is because we are blacking out all the chrome pieces for the headlights. So to get to the screws to be able to take that piece out was a nightmare just because it's super tight. You have no space and if not putting enough pressure on the screw, it was just spinning and stripping it. Um, but we got it taken care of. But now that that is taken care of, um, we can go ahead and start putting everything away for the night. Then I'm gonna wake up bright and early, start uh, priming and painting those guys, and then we can uh, start applying all the uh, RGB stuff. So we will go ahead and see you guys first thing in the morning. Currently day two, um, all these parts are ready to go. We have wiped them down. Now we're gonna go ahead and spray them with some primer. Let the primer sit, dry, and then spray them with the uh, actual spray paint to black these out. So just a couple quick updates for you. Number one, uh, the headlights have been sprayed with two coats of primer and now one coat of black, so I'm gonna let this sit and uh, probably spray with another two coats of the black spray paint. Let that dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. And while that is drying, Jonathan is currently opening up the other fog light for the G37. Um, it just had some rubber around the outline. Uh, best to just heat it up, go at it with a uh, straight blade to try and cut out some of the rubber and use a screwdriver gently to pry the lid off. Um, only problem is the halos that we have hit up against uh, the inside of the fog light housing. So I'm going to have to take the Dremel to shave some of it down for the halo to actually fit in there. 
So this is the part of the housing that I have to cut. The halo is just hitting up against this, so I'm actually just going to trim a tiny bit of this back uh, so the halo can sit pretty much in the same spot that this does. I'd go ahead and trim this part out that is wider than the rest of it, and that should allow the halo, halo to just sit in there uh, nice and even. So housing is trimmed down, um, not perfect, but kind of hard to make it exact with the Dremel, but for the most part should be even enough that the halo can just sit in there nice and neat and everything will look good. So got the halo in there, um, basically to run the wires through, we drilled a hole on the very bottom of the housing for the plug to fit through, uh, put the halo in, pushed it down together. It's not sealed or anything, but right now we're just gonna test it and make sure that it works. And we are all good. Halo looks really good. Looks OEM. So, looks really good. Hopefully it's coming out okay on camera, but this lens is a little dirty right now. We're going to go ahead and clean that up. And it is middle of the day, so it's not as bright as it will be at night. But even with that, you can still see it pretty well. I'm happy with it. So just in case you guys needed a better view, this is where we drilled the hole just on the bottom of the housing. And uh, you just slip the wire through. Put the halo in and you're good to go. Jonathan has sealed one of the fog lights. Looks just as good, if not better, than it was OEM uh, with the halo in there. So after we are done with this one, we're gonna go ahead and seal up the second one. Hopefully the headlights will be nice and dry so we can start putting those together and actually applying all the lights to those as well. So this is the rubber sealant that uh, we are using to go ahead and seal up these fog lights as well as the headlights. So that's relatively cheap. It's only like 12 bucks on Amazon. But basically you put it along the edge on where you need to seal, use the heat gun to lightly heat it up and uh, squish it together. From there it'll go ahead and dry, harden and uh, make a nice seal for your stuff to uh, be closed. So housing is officially dry, so we are going to go ahead and start putting everything together. Just as you can see, uh, based on how these used to look with it being chrome, the black looks so much cleaner. Um, I think he's really going to be happy with how the black housing looks with the halos and everything are gonna look and then how we ended up doing the uh, fog lights as well. Also, I just put the halo on this one. I also drilled a teeny hole here and a teeny hole here. And what that's gonna be for is I'm gonna use that to run some fishing line so it holds the, the halo in all the way just so if it ever, by chance, ever decides it wants to fall. Um, it's just like a little extra security. I did that on mine and it worked fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this one and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this one. So first set of halos is on. Basically you just run the wires through the top and out the back. And with these guys, based on the size and everything that we are needing, um, they can't really sit the same way as the other ones. So the little stands that were on the back, we went ahead and cut those with some pliers. It's gonna lay flat up against this and then it will uh, go ahead and fit underneath the housing. And I'll show you that better once we get to that point. So now that the halos are all put together, the uh, RGB strips are put on where like the eyelid-ish area is. Uh, he is currently hooking everything back up. Once this is together, uh, we're pretty much good to go. So while Jonathan is doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and run the uh, headlight sealant through this little groove here. Uh, we're gonna do a thin layer to where it's gonna squeeze back into place the way that it is stock, but enough to where it's not going to split apart or anything like that. So I'm gonna start running this through now. And just before we close these up, um, we did have to make a small cut on the lower section of the headlight housing, just because when you put the housing on top of this and try and seal it, uh, the housing did hit up against this halo right here. So just take a Dremel um, and either cut or sand this down, or if you don't have a Dremel, you can probably do it by shaving it down with a knife. Just shave it down enough, uh, test fit it multiple times, just make sure that it fully clears the halo before trying to reseal it. Both headlights have been resealed up. This is roughly what they looked like before going back on the car. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt them back up, wire everything together, and then I can go ahead and show you what they look like on. So several hours later, as you can tell by the uh, awesome full moon over there, but both headlights are in, looking really good. Front bumper is back on with the fog lights. I love how stock the fog lights look as well. Um, obviously you can't really tell there's a halo in there until you turn them on, which I love. The headlights on the other hand, you can very much tell that they have been modified, but we've tried everything, everything works, everything looks really good. So I'll go ahead and turn it on for you guys now so you can check it out.
So as you can see, cycling through all the colors, the RGBs looking really nice. The eyebrows doing their own thing and the halos uh, all going through their cycles. Honestly, having all six of the halos going same colors at the same time looks really nice as well with the eyebrows. I think these came out beautiful. Uh, we did a really good job. He is on his way to come pick these up. Hopefully he enjoys them as much as we do. Don't really think they could have come out any better. The fog lights came out awesome. The headlights looked great. Everything worked out. So he just came, picked up his car. He was really happy with the end result. Uh, really happy with the job that me and Jonathan did. Uh, honestly, probably the best headlight job that we've done so far. Also the most intricate. Uh, we haven't done a job with so many different moving parts, uh, but everything worked out. Came out clean, really happy with uh, the final outcome. Uh, so go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I respond to every one of my comments. Um, so if you guys need anything extra that I didn't touch on, please let me know. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, drop a like, drop a comment, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.